All right, it's time for Test the Time News, episode eight. So the room! Yes, absolutely. So the big announcement came just last week with Elon Musk announcing the solar roof. There's four different kinds. Four different kinds. Of solar roofs. Just like Elon to not do one thing, he did four things. Right. And, and they all look all amazing. Beautiful. And I think they cover basically every kind of taste you'd want. So let, first of all, let's get down to what it is. It's instead of putting solar panels on your roof, you are replacing the, the actual roof shingles right, with, with solar shingles. Solar shingles. And they look amazing. They totally do. And As you can see in, right here, we've got the Tuscan, so that you can look like you're, you know, in Florence right. somewhere. Uh, so this replaces a, uh, a terracotta tile. Yep. Oh, and by the way, these are all made of glass. Right? Yes. A very strong glass. Um, so they're they're hardly breakable. He showed a, a video which you're seeing here of weights that are dropping onto these different kinds of tiles like terracotta mm -hmm. um, and slate, and the other ones break very easily. These do not. So right. these are super durable. They're supposed to last two to three times what a normal roof will last. So if you've got a, say, 30 or 40 year roof, these are going to last 90, 100, 120 years. That's ridiculous amount of time. Yeah. Factor that into your costs. I know. That's amazing. So they come in, in this beautiful Tuscan. They also come in this modern, sleek glass, right. which would look great on some you know newer, ultra modern buildings. Yep. They come in the textured glass, which kind of resembles an asphalt shingle. So yep. if you want to stay kind of traditional, and then my personal favorite is the, the slate. slate. Oh, it's oh beautiful. my gosh, these look. I mean, it looks like real slate. Each one is different colors, different textures, mm -hmm. um, and so you're getting this beautiful looking roof, and it's all solar. The solar part of the top is made by Panasonic um, and so one question that I had when he was first talking about it is oh, is this gonna make it a very inefficient roof because it's it's sandwiched in between glass but it turns out it can be as high as 98% efficient compared to solar panels on your roof so you're wow. really not losing much efficiency right and you're gaining so much more area yeah your entire roof now is going to be solar right so because usually you'd have to account for dormers right and you lose a lot of space when you're trying to put rectangular panels on your roof right now pretty much every little spot of your roof is solar so that's just amazing yeah when can you get this roof well you can get on the waiting list now and the installation should start in the summer of 2017 so wow. it won't be that long but if you're interested call your solar city tesla dealer now and start uh, getting your name on that list awesome our next story is part of the same story right there was the announcement of the solar roof and there was the announcement of powerwall 2.0 what is Powerwall 2.0, you might ask? Right. It is a newer, better version of the Powerwall. So the original Powerwall costs about $3,000. Mm -hmm. um, and this new one is going to cost $5,500, but it's going to have 14 kilowatt hours. So it's about double, more than, I think it's more than double the storage capacity in roughly the same form factor. And in fact, as you can see here, the form factor is more of a, s a flat rectangle, yeah. so it's actually thinner on your wall. Oh, okay. It takes up less space. You can mount these indoor or outdoor. Oh, wow. So if you don't have room in your garage, put it outside your garage. Wow. It has the inverter built in. Sweet. So that $5,500 includes the inverter. Awesome. Um, it costs about $1,000 to have an electrician install it or yep. to have Tesla install it. So if you're trying to get an idea of what it would cost. and. This will, one of these will take care of the average home. It will handle five kilowatts of continuous energy. Okay. Seven kilowatts of peak energy. Okay. So you can do some calculations based on your family's uses and see if this would cover it for you. But if you need more than one, you can install more than one. That's pretty sweet. You just put them boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Um, they're 89% efficient in AC mode. 91% efficient in DC mode That's and you they are warranted for unlimited cycles up to 10 years so wow. this thing can suck juice feed juice all day long all week long all year long for 10 years and it's under warranty for 10 years so like this takes the place of a backup generator yeah. it also is good if you're in a place where there's sort of a peak power cost right I mean it would work anywhere really I mean and couple this with your solar roof and you've got the, just the perfect solution for sustainability. True. I'm just, it's so exciting to me. Um, Elon says that he expects to sell more power walls than cars. That's awesome. 
Isn't that cool? Yes. And uh, so they will start shipping in December with installation starting in January of 2017. So if you're interested, get your name on that list right away. Our next story is that the Gigafactory, which is where all this good stuff is going to be made, all these batteries, um, continues to make progress ahead of the Model 3 and the Power Wall and the Power Pack ramp up. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see here, there's four new squares being built. Um, and they're making great progress on them. And this is going to add 3.4 million square feet to the Gigafactory. That's so. So I mean, each of those squares is like almost a full million square foot. Right. That's yep. amazing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Uh, next story for all of you Tesla drivers out there is that uh, version 8.01 of the uh, software is going to be coming out in the next few weeks. Um, there will be some, uh, a lot of what I hear are going to be UI upgrades and fixes. So a lot of people were kind of upset about different little UI things. I guess a lot of those glitches and stuff are going to be fixed. Yep. As soon as we find out what those are, we're going to let you know. Excellent. Um, and 8.1, which is the next major upgrade, should be out in December. And with wow. that upgrade, you would have things like um, if you're navigating somewhere and, it's, and your car is supposed to take the exit, supposedly you'll put on the blinker and it will take the exit. We'll have to see if that's true. Next story is a car story. The Faraday Future, which is a competitor to Tesla making electric cars, has is set to unveil its first production car in January at the CES. Um, and we are showing here the first official image which was released. This is a camouflaged image. Um, they didn't want to show us, I guess, all the details of the car. But this is what the car is going to generally look like. And yep. this, we'll probably be finding out more details in January when they start you know, showing the car off. So. I think that's pretty awesome to have two fully electric car companies that are both named after like really famous scientists. I mean, oh, as, a, as a nerd, it's Michael that's Faraday. Yeah. pretty cool. When I was a kid, I did a project on, on Michael Faraday. Faraday. Is it really uh, Michael? It, I think it's Michael, if, if I remember correctly. Hmm. We'll, we'll need a fact checker on that. Okay. <laughs> And this is a funny story. Jesse didn't really want to talk about it, but I think it's funny that, that Teslas are trying to fly themselves. Uh, this Tesla in London, uh, it was at the Foxholes Roundabout in Hertford, near London. Uh, it flew over a Mercedes E-Class, um, hit an embankment, I guess, and went for a little fly. It went, it went over the E-Class? Yeah. Oh my God! Tell the thing, John, look. No! It's got through them trees. Oh my god! Uh huh. Um, I don't know. Just uh, it caught caught me because uh, it went over a Mercedes. There's just something symbolic about it. So I mean, the the driver was responsible or what? Yeah, there was a driver involved. Uh, you know, driving the car. Uh, you know, car accidents are going to happen. But yeah. um, and that just uh, maybe he was trying to bring up the point that the Model X uh, this quarter is number one. Over the Eagles. Oh wow. And that's, we're talking in just this quarter as we're ramping up production. Um, I think that's pretty cool. It, it, is it accounts cool. for 6% of all luxury SUV sales in the United States. For a brand new car to break into the market that strongly, that's pretty amazing. Sweet. Cool. All well, right. thanks for watching Tesla Time News. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions or comments, please post them below. Anytime you've got a story you'd like us to cover, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. This summer, we went on a cross-country road trip. We went from uh, where we live in Massachusetts all the way to San Francisco, and then we went all the way up to Seattle, and then we went all the way across to Montreal, and then all the way back. So it was uh, 75 superchargers, 25 states, two provinces of Canada, and 8,000 miles. And you can check out every single day of it on Now You Know. How many provinces did we have in the car? Um, 